time period um, from diagnosis to treatment, but also the early detection piece, which obviously is going to you know help people resolve these problems before they get too far out of hand. That's exactly right. It's, it's back to a concept uh, that we've talked about uh, before in Stanford Medicine and elsewhere, a concept we call precision health, which we, dis- we distinguish from precision medicine. Precision medicine is about getting the right treatment to the right patient for the right disease at the right time. But precision medicine is, if you will, after the fact. It's after someone gets sick. Mm. How do we provide the best sick care? And of course, in the United States, we have the best sick care system in the world because of our specialized care that we offer because of tertiary and quaternary care. But we haven't focused nearly as much attention on predicting and preventing disease and in detecting it earlier, as you just mentioned. And I think these applications of AI to bettering diagnostics and designing more predictive diagnostic tests. You know, every time we fly on a plane, um, the, the plane, the engines of that plane are being monitored hundreds of times a minute uh, on the ground. We should be able to do something comparable to that. And one of my late colleagues um, at Stanford, Dr. Sam Gambier, very much had that vision. We should be able to do something comparable to that in diagnostics and, mm-hmm. and develop something along those lines. Well, we're slowly inching towards that with the advent of tech, consumer technology in the form of like wearables. I've got, I've got a Whoop on. Um, I use Inside Tracker, and you know we've worked with Levels, and I'm going to experiment with Super Sapiens, these CGM companies.